Three years has passed since Gamergate happened, and people are just still at it. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. There was a video that was released by Now This that paints Zoe Quinn in a positive light. What is so funny to me is that the video paints Zoe Quinn as a person who never, ever done anything wrong, even though the reality is that she does a lot of stuff wrong, including doxing people, including cheating on people, essentially gonna go step by step about the stuff she does wrong in the video. It is so funny to me how the video paints Zoe Quinn as a survivor of Gamergate even though she was the catalyst on the reason why Gamergate happened. What happened was that Zoe Quinn's boyfriend posted a blog that was called the Zoe Post and within the blog he talks about how Zoe Quinn went out her way to fuck five guys. Among the five guys that she fucked was a person by the name of Nathan Grayson. He used to work at a company that was called Rock Paper Shotgun and proceed to get favorable coverage of the game Depression Crest. As soon as the gamers found out, article after article after article claimed that gamers were dead. Essentially, without the actions of Zoe Quinn and the action of journalists, Gamergate would have never, ever been a thing. The funny thing is while Gamergate was happening and all hell just broke loose, Zoe Quinn herself partake in doxing and harassment. For example, the fine young capitalists, essentially they were targeted by Zoe Quinn and the founder of the group was doxed by her. Another example is a YouTuber that goes by the name of Monday Matt. As soon as this video that was titled Hell Has No Fury came up, he was a target of false flagging of the video. Another example is a YouTuber that is called Red Pill Black. What happened was that she had a Kickstarter for an anti-harassment campaign and was targeted by Zoe Quinn and was called racial slurs. My main point is this. She claims to be against doxing and against harassment, yet at the very same time, time does the exact same thing towards other people. We've done a bunch of advocacy with tech platforms, law enforcement agencies, and anybody that we could talk that, that would basically talk to us that we thought we could help. It is so funny to me how this video mentioned the group Crash Overdrive. The reason why it's so funny to me is because the exact same group had chat locks leaked. What it revealed was that Zoe Quinn and other people, yet again, have plans to dox people. It's so strange how she claims that Gamergate is a harassment group when she does the exact same thing that she claims the other side does. She would claim that Gamergators are white males who are supremacists with no minorities in it and does harassment, yet the data shows otherwise when it comes down to her own narrative. It's almost like she wants to project her personal actions onto other people without accounting for her own actions. Oh yes, by just uh, fucking people, by getting good reviews by those people you fucked, by doxing people, by going to the UN and claim that people who criticize you are harassers, essentially you have to play as a victim to make it into the game industry. Mm -hmm. 